from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, April the 13th, 2020. Some 24 hours after a synagogue in Alabama was vandalized with threatening anti-Semitic graffiti, a second Jewish house of worship was targeted. The Chabad of Huntsville was spray-painted with swastikas and anti-Semitic and racial slurs, while its director, Rabbi Moshe Cohen, and his family were conducting their second Seder Thursday night inside the building, which is also their home. The previous night, as we reported to you, hateful messages were spray-painted on the Etz Chaim Conservative Synagogue, also in the town. Cohen wrote on Facebook that just before the vandalism began, the family had opened their door for Elijah the prophet, what Jews around the world do at the end of the Seder. Cohen wrote, one minute before this person began his destructive, hate-filled actions, we opened the door with a prayer that the whole world come together in peace and brotherhood. We know which message will win out. This is something which will make us even stronger. This is not going to bring us down. If one individual who is filled with hate in his heart and in his action will not bring down an entire community to fear and to panic because of his actions, we are going to be above that. We are going to be stronger than that. Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle strongly condemned the incident, and the community continues to extend its strong support for the Jewish community there. The FBI is helping local police with their investigation. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Blue and White Party leader Benny Gantz each separately addressed the Israeli public tonight. The Prime Minister focusing on the COVID-19 pandemic and new lockdown measures expected to be passed by the cabinet for the end of the Passover holiday. He also mentioned that talks towards forming an emergency unity government were continuing. Gantz spoke about the critical need for such a government, saying that he and Netanyahu had reached agreements and called on the prime minister to take the final steps. The deadline for Gantz's mandate to form a coalition government ended tonight after an extension request to Israel's President Reuven Rivlin was declined. The IDF is searching for a man who infiltrated an IDF military base today in southern Israel. Two Israeli soldiers spotted the suspect and tried to arrest him, but the suspect attacked and cut one of the soldiers' hands. He then fled the scene. A manhunt is underway. Meanwhile, two IDF battalions have been on duty in a number of ultra-Orthodox communities considered high risk for the coronavirus in Jerusalem and in B'nai Brak, providing food to tens of thousands who are quarantined and also helping to educate. The IDF is also helping the Magen David Adom with testing for the coronavirus. And among the latest victims from COVID-19, former Sephardic chief rabbi of Israel, Rabbi Eliyahu Bakshi Doron, who died yesterday of complications from the virus and was laid to rest today. He was 79. Current Sephardic chief rabbi Yitzhak Yosef eulogized the late leader, saying the world of Torah and halacha has lost one of its pillars. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said of Bakshi Doron, his essence was intelligence, tolerance, and love for the people and the country. President Rivlin called Bakshi Doron a giant Torah scholar with a deep sense of responsibility for the entire people of Israel. Birkat HaKohanim was held yesterday at Jerusalem's Western Wall, the priestly blessing that is held during Passover as well as during Sukkot and Shavuot. But this time, because of COVID-19 regulations, instead of the masses normally gathered for the blessing, there were just over 10 people present at the Kotel. Among them, U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman, who shared photos on his Twitter page. Friedman tweeted, Last year I was among 100,000. 
This year, unfortunately, far less. He wrote, I will pray that the world is spared further illness or sorrow from COVID-19 or otherwise. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, April the 13th. At 7 o'clock, it's the wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 7.30, Professor Joseph Weiler critiques a book on Jewish law by biblical scholar Benjamin Summer, who then responds. That's in a program of the Jewish Review of Books, NYU Law School, and Jewish Law Association at NYU. At 8 o'clock, the way in which diverse sectors of the American community are working to ensure strong bipartisan support for Israel from the recent APEC National Policy Conference. Then at 9 tonight, Mark Golub sits down with Abigail Pogrebin on L'Chaim. At 10 o'clock, a discussion on Jews and Jesus from the 92nd Street Y. And coming up right after this newscast, a new segment of Together During COVID-19, where Mark Golub speaks with musical theater major Sydney Weiser about how her generation is coping with the quarantine. And that's the JBS News Update for Monday, April the 13th, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.